name is Steve. Um, I'm Brian. And I'm Stefan. The song you just sang was incredible. Do you want to tell us a, a little bit about that? It was a song that was that was born out of absolute, complete, mind-crushing boredom. On a particularly rainy day, we were driving between New York and Boston, and it was taking a lot longer than, um, than we anticipated, and it was just getting really, really painful. And we were all kind of stuck on this tour bus, we were at a loss as to what, you know, what to do. And I got so unbelievably bored that, you know, I just said I had to go and do something kind of creative to just kind of, to, to turn this, this non-day into something kind of positive. And I just kind of went into the back of the bus with a with an acoustic guitar and just started playing two notes, which is basically what most of the song is. It's just kind of two notes or two chords, and um, and that sort of like came out. So it sort of it, it almost came out sort of fully formed, and well. so it's um, you know it was obviously kind of in there and you know just waiting for the right time to come out, but it was sort of born out of frustration and. Um, and I, I just think it's really cool that uh, you know something positive comes out of that kind of that th those negative feelings, you know. And that's often that's often what kind of songwriting sort of is for me. It's it's sort of creating something something positive in terms of the fact that people can understand it and relate to it, um, and maybe feel a little bit less alone because you're expressing something which mm. you know is 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 perhaps difficult or perhaps you know, has negative overtones, or is just kind of a bit sad, or uh, or angry, or or happy, you know. You've been to Japan countless times. Are there some things that still surprise you when you come to visit, or...? Well, the thing that I really like about about, about Japanese culture is something that, that I've just sort of um, only recently recently discovered, and this is it's sort of the notion of, um, or concept of, of wabi-sabi. Which I, you know, which I, which I find absolutely really, really fascinating. I'm not sure I completely understand it, but well, we live in a world where we're all kind of like striving for perfection. We want like the perfect face, the perfect body, the perfect car, the perfect job, the perfect partner, the perfect uh, Facebook profile, you know, um, the perfect friends, um, the perfect children, and um, and I think that that's sort of like leading to sort of. A, a very modern malaise, a sort of you know, a, a, a sort of a, a, an unhappiness that sort of like exists in society, even though we have so much. And from what I can understand, the thing about wabi sabi is that it says that you know the the perfection and the, and and the beauty is in the imperfection. And when I when I first heard that, it just made complete sense to me. It was like almost as, as if something that you know you've always kind of already known, but somebody else has articulated. And to me, it was, it, it was a very, very powerful and, and very, very freeing notion and idea um, is that what makes you uniquely mm -hmm. you is, is your imperfection, and that's what's beautiful. So for me, sort of that, that discovery was, you know, was, it, it, even though it's quite recent, was um, something that you know, was, was very powerful and very moving for me.